Hey guys, Ross here from Signum Audio, and today I'm going to be showcasing to you guys our new Sky Dynamics plugin. Sky Dynamics is a multi stage dynamics processor for mixing and mastering, and can be used for creative purposes as well. It comprises of an expander, compressor, and limiter, delivering very transparent and natural processing with an intelligent UI system that allows you to adjust every effect from the one main view. So, I'll get stuck right in here and I'll go through and show you guys all the features on some uh, material I've got here. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the meter bars. On the left we have our input meters and on the right we have our output meters and gain reduction meter. There's a meter for every channel and it displays two pieces of information the overall input and output of the plugin and the input and output of the currently selected processor. On the input meters, we show the overall input coming in as the solid blue bar in the middle and the input going into the selected processor as the coloured sidebars. As an example, I could adjust the pre-gain on the selected processor down in the control panel. In this case, it's the expander and it's shown by this yellow colour. Now if I bring the gain down a few dB, we can see the difference of the overall input coming into the plugin versus the level going into the expander as it sits below this blue bar. If I increase the dB instead, we can now see that the level going into the expander is greater than the level coming in. This just helps keep track of gain staging throughout each processing stage as you might want to increase or decrease the signal going into the next processor depending on your use case. Overlaid on top of the input and output meters, we have our pre and post gain sliders. These adjust the overall input and output of the plugin, while each processor has their own pre gain slider located down in the control panel. We also have a readings box at the top of the graph that gives readouts for all the metering information. Each reading is color coded to its corresponding meter. The blue readings for the overall input and output displayed in the middle of the meter bars. The coloured readings as the selected processor's input and output. And we have an overall gain reduction reading from all processors in the dark red. And the gain reduction from the selected processor in the lighter red. The main feature of the plugin is the centre graph. And I'll show you how it can be used to control each processor's threshold and ratio settings. So, I have Sky Dynamics on a drum bus track here. Starting at the bottom left, we have these yellow nodes that control the expander's ratio and threshold. I could bring in a bit of ratio here. And this is a downwards expander, so as we bring the threshold up, it will start to reduce the level of the signal that falls under the threshold line. As we can hear there, it starts to turn down the quieter elements in this drum bus and only really let through the louder toms and clap hits. These controls are also exposed as dials down in the processor's control panel. Here we can also adjust the attack and release of the processor. A longer attack will increase the time the signal takes to reach max volume after passing above the threshold, while the release will adjust the time it takes for the signal to be reduced after falling back under the threshold. In this scenario, as it's a drum bus, a shorter attack and release time would work well. Now, if we want to apply some compression to a signal, all we need to do is move our compressor controls on the graph, and the plugin will now automatically switch over to display all of our compressor information and controls. We can also use the tabs on the left of the control panel to do this as well. Again, we can now use the nodes on the graph to dial in our ratio and threshold settings. If I add some ratio here, and I'll go to about 2 to 1 in this case, and then start bringing down the threshold. As you can see, we're working in quite a small section of the graph, so what we can do is by clicking and dragging on the graph or the meter bar scale, we can freely zoom in and out, allowing you to fine tune the visible range to help increase accuracy when dialing in your settings. So moving on to the last processor in the chain, and that is the limiter. It has a slider up at the top right, which we can use to bring up its controls, 
or again, we can hit it in the control panel. In this case, I'm going to use it to shave off just a couple dB of the peaks, just to help control the last part of the dynamics in this drum bus. So to do that, I'm going to keep it on zero attack, which pretty much makes it a brick wall limiter. And I'm going to keep the auto release on. And I'm just going to bring the scale factor down a little bit as we're working with quite a percussive and um, lots of short transients in this sound. So it just helps the release factor uh, breathe quicker. And we have different types of release curves here as well. So I'm just going to keep it on transparent. Now I'm just going to bring this down until I start seeing a bit of gain reduction. There we are, getting about 2 to 3 dB is all I want here, maybe even a bit less. Um, so that will work just nicely. Now in other cases, you might not need to use one of the processors. In this case, maybe I don't want to use the expander. So I can disable it and I just need to watch that I might need to readjust my other settings to compensate for the change in the signal. So that's us gone through how you might use Sky Dynamics on something like a drum bus. But I'd now like to show you guys how we can use Sky in a creative way. I have some sustained material here and I'm going to use the sidechain, which is over in the bottom left corner here, to create some interesting effects. So each processor can use the sidechain input separately from each other. So if we wanted to apply some slight ducking from a kick, for example, but we don't want it to affect the expander, we can just turn it on for the compressor. But for today, I'm going to be using it on the expander, and I'm going to route some percussive material to it and apply this to some sustained sound like some strings or pads. And this is going to create some interesting rhythmic ducking that will be in time with the rest of our track. So I'll choose my sidechain source in Ableton. And now we can see the signal coming in. And I'm just going to dial in some expander settings here with some ratio and the threshold. And we can start to see or hear the effect on the signal. I'd now like to talk about the channeling feature down at the bottom right of the plugin. What channel linking allows us to do is choose what channels we would like to use to calculate the processing and then pick what channels we'd like to apply that processing to. For example, I can remove the right input channel so it only uses the signal coming in from the left to calculate the processing and then apply that processing to, let's say, the right channel. As we can hear, the right channel is quieter than the left now, as compression is only being applied to the right. The surround version of the plugin, where there can be a lot more channels, allows for even more creative exploration of this feature. Lastly, we have implemented some UI features to help save screen space. We can fully resize the plugin by dragging the bottom right corner. And we have a compact view that removes the graphs and meters and can also be resized. We hope you have enjoyed this showcase of our new Sky Dynamics plugin. And you can try it for yourself by downloading a trial at signumaudio.com.